pagan Paris. In this glorious city, they may deify their women like Josephine Baker, but the male lineage is sacred. Even my flute teacher, Alain Marion, who was blessed with a daughter, who in turn had a daughter, I think he only felt truly complete at the birth of his beloved grandson. Now, in a strange way, I kind of understand this because even though I'm such a girl, my dad, who was born on the same day as Alain Marion, Christmas Day, well, dad treated me in many ways as the eldest son. You start up the track to blossom and I'll meet you down in the back paddock. <laughs> this next piece called Incantation is by contemporary French composer André Jolivet. It's his version of a ritual chant to ensure that the next born is a male child. It's based on classical Greek mythology. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the women chanting and the drums beating, the bare feet slapping the floor. <laughs>
if you play that six times before bed, you will get a boy. <laughs> I did, and I got a son, so it's true. It works. A few years ago, Alain Marion, my wonderful, wonderful flute teacher who was so full of life and so full of joy in music making, he went to his death to join his beloved two-year-old grandson, who was perhaps the love of his life. Now, I'm not usually into clairvoyance, but shortly after Alain's death, a friend encouraged me to ring one. And when the clairvoyant asked me what I wanted from the session, I said, gee, I don't know, I think I want to contact Alain. And she said, oh yes, your French flute teacher. He's with the little baby boy, Alexandre. They're together and he's happy. Later in the same session, I asked the clairvoyant, why am I so obsessed with Colette? No, not Tony Colette. <laughs> and not Colette Dinnigan either. Colette, the French writer. And the clairvoyant said, oh her, you were her lover in a past life. <laughs> On my lonely nights as a student in Paris, I would curl up with Colette reading her earthly paradise, longing for a sensual connection with with nature, with a lover, longing to be lulled by beauty. Perhaps in my past life, Colette wrote this for me. I cannot sleep. My insomnia is a kind of gay and lively palpitation. And I sense in your own immobility the same quivering exhaustion. You do not budge. You hope I am asleep. Your arm tightens around me at times out of tender habit and your charming feet clasp mine between them. Sleep approaches, grazes me and flees. I can see it. Sleep is like that heavy, velvety butterfly I pursued today in the garden, aflame with iris. Do you remember?